Good morning, children. Continuing our discussion with inverse trigonometric functions, let us again look at the basics and move a step ahead. This is the best time to work on trigonometry because we have so much of time, we are at home, we are not pressurized with our school timetable and school homework and all. So, I feel you should work on class 10, 11 and 12 trigonometric functions in detail, in thorough manner so that you become masters of trigonometry and uh, I call trigonometry as backbone of class 11 and 12 mathematics. If you remember, I have listed the value table for tan, tan 0, 0, tan pi by 6, 1 by root 3. I am discussing why we restrict the domain and range for a trigonometric function. Now tan pi by 4 is 1. If I draw arrow diagram for tan function, you will find tan 0 is 0. This is arrow diagram for y equal to tan x. Yes. Now tan pi by 6 is 1 by root 3. Yes. Now you say tan pi is again 0. Yes. Tan 2 pi is again 0. That is, it's not a 1 1 function. y equal to tan x is not a 1 1 function. Now if it is not a 1 1 function, its inverse won't exist. Right? So therefore, to make it 1 1, we restrict the domain and range. If you do not restrict, if you take it as it is, r or all the real numbers, then the function does not remain 1 1. And therefore, we need to find the inverse of a trigonometric function. Therefore, we restrict the domain and range of the function. Now, is that clear? So, Coming back to the domain and range, what was domain for tan becomes range for tan inverse and what was range for tan becomes domain for tan inverse and you all know minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and then this is, r. this is a closed interval. So the domain for tan inverse is r and this is the range and you understand the graph for tan inverse, right? Work on graph of tan, you will get tan inverse also. These are all six trigonometric functions. Sine inverse, their domain is minus 1 to 1. Range is minus pi by 2 pi by 2. Then this is for cos inverse. Tan inverse, we discussed just now. Cosec inverse, also we discussed in the earlier class. R minus minus 1, 1. To this minus pi by 2 pi by 2 minus 0. This is sec inverse and this is cot inverse which is r from r to 0 to pi open because cot of 0 is not defined so therefore we keep the interval to be open. These are domains and range of inverse trigonometric functions. All of you make a chart on white chart paper or your normal paper in using sketch pens, put it on the wall and read it several times during the day so that you remember it. These are all principal value branches wherein when we work on the questions we find the solutions. Now how do we work on the inverse trigonometric questions? Suppose I want to find the value of Cos inverse of root 3 by 2 is what? Right? Now this is inverse trigonometric function. To work on inverse trigonometric function, we go to trigonometric function. So what we do? We assume cos inverse of root 3 by 2 is say x. What does that mean? Cos x is root 3 by 2. Now we want principal value branches, yes, and you all remember when was cos root 3 by 2, the value is pi by 6, that means x is pi by 6, 
that is this answer cos inverse of root 3 by 2 is pi by 6 working on questions is very easy inverse trigonometric statement you transfer to trigonometric statement and then when is cos root 3 by 2 in the principal value branch cos becomes root 3 by 2 at infinite points the graph shows that but we want a value which is in the principal value branch now why I am saying principal cos inverse the principal value branch says range is 0 to pi this falls in 0 to pi therefore our answer is correct so whatever we answer we get for cos inverse values they should fall in the principal value branch right 